big moment in the show. Because it was so, like, bad footage. Not just that, but it was like, Marley had literally just come in. It was like, all those people got off the plane, and then they yeah, showed the, the like, clips night. of them. Yeah. Oh, and they won me. that by popping the balloons and finding the tickets. Yeah. And then they got to go and watch those clips. That was so stupid. But we barely even knew Marley then. So it wasn't mm. like, oh, it's Marley, blah, blah, blah. Like, as if I'd give a shit anyway. But do you mm. know what I mean? It, was, it had even less resonance. Cause Don't say that. You, I came in earlier and you were doing the Marley. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I, saw, I caught it. It's how he's doing the Marley right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> So uh, then they played <laughs> some of Danny's best bits again. Fuck knows why. <laughs> just more Danny. <laughs> yeah. Why not? He said, I'm just here to maintain a low profile, which I think is the funniest <laughs> thing Danny said in the house. Uh, he said he gave it 110% to get on the podium. And then Sonia was going to him, oh, how would you sell the Big Brother house? And then he got confused. And yeah, didn't she goes, oh, I meant more like the fixtures, yeah. the fittings. And he like... was like, oh, it ain't that great a house, wasn't it? Yeah, he didn't go for no, it, did he? he? didn't, he didn't get give Sonia what it, did she he? wanted. Bless him. Um... They should have told him that beforehand. I oh, know. Uh, and then da- Dan said, I played the game with honour and gusto and I swung the baseball bat from the moment I went in to the moment I left. So what a quote just <laughs> to come out with out of your mouth. <laughs> with honour and gusto. <laughs> and I swung the baseball This is your tattoo of the week. From the moment I went in to the moment I left. I think you should just have That's like here, honour and gusto. Like, yes, on a, and on a, on a, face on a in the middle. Suit of arm, a coat of arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh please it's only a matter of time before someone gets a Danny tattoo is this just before Katie said she played the integral game Fuck, again yeah I think it I was so. yeah it's dumb <laughs> um, and he said it was the best experience of my life so then we had Christina's best bits um, oh you mean a Brenton highlights oh package. that was dumb I put Christina seems different in the final. What is it? She was acting her, different. Her, her, vo- her yeah, voice changed. Was different. What was she that? had a different what accent? That? What was going on? She sounded like she was putting on a fake Australian accent. Oh no! Yeah, something seemed phony about her in maybe, the final. Maybe she'd like had dental work or yeah. fillers or something, and she couldn't speak properly anymore. But she didn't sound the same. We were trying to work out if she'd had work done. But we weren't sure. I hope she hasn't, because she's a beautiful I mean, girl, she's and she gorgeous, is. And yeah. the dress, the dress did suit her. I like the dress, but the dress looked like the X Factor final. Oh, you little shit! Like it looked like she was going to come out and perform with Beyonce. Yeah. She said that she chose the dress because um, it looked a bit like um, Wonder Woman. Oh, I like the dress. Like a warrior vibe, and she said yeah. she felt that was how she played through yeah. the game. Like she wanted to be tough in the competitions, mm. but. Also, like, pretty with it. Maybe mm. glamorous with it. Mm. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I was like, interesting to learn from that um, interview that she came to Australia at 11 years old from Russia mm. and did not speak proper English. Yeah, that was interesting. So I was like, actually, the fact that she's now, mm. you would think a native Australian, mm. is kind of amazing that mm. that's only in 10 10 years that that's yeah. happened mm. so you know she's not she lives a life not in her native language mm. and she said on the podcast there's still stuff that she doesn't understand God, her or, English or words is, she's not familiar with but. her English is perfect uh, I wonder what Sonia thinks about oh, you know all these immigrants coming over you know she's very anti oh, only the Muslim she doesn't like <laughs> talking of immigrants did you hear this stuff about Canada today and did you see Arissa posting about it is it the dead mm. uh, graves being uncovered uh, of so, um, First Nation children? Did you read the story about that? I've heard about it. I read it today and I was just like, it made me think, oh God, all the times we took the piss out of that indigenous people stuff. Like Speak that is <laughs> <laughs> That is really fucking sick and dark, like what happened. It's also like, um, I, I just think of Canada yeah. as this like utopia yeah. where nothing, yeah. nothing wrong happens. Yeah. But, it is a colon, co- colony, colonized, yeah. And I saw them pulling down the statue of Queen Victoria yeah. today. They were pulling down the statue of Queen Elizabeth, our queen. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> take that, Liz. Yeah, take that, yeah. lizard queen. Yeah, fucking old bitch. We just unveiled a Princess Diana statue oh, as well. God. <laughs> so they said about that the better. <laughs> Well, Diana was a good a bit, one. Bit, bit of a Michael Jackson vibe to it, though, didn't it? Oh, no, it was more her, it. like, clinging onto the children. Well, it was a bit... For a s- uh, I mean, the scale of it, the scale of her, yeah. it's like Sonia holding Danny Hayes. Like, she looks giant compared to the children. I was like, that's yes. weird. 
weird. Because like the statue children look like little adults. Yeah, it's creepy. It's stra- I don't know who made that choice, but they should have unmade it. It wasn't good. Uh, but... Smelt it down and turn it into eviction <laughs> dresses. <laughs> but what? Eviction dresses. Oh, what, for Christina? Yeah. But yeah, no, Diana was all right. I was reading about some more about how she died and everything. It's quite disgusting what happened to her. And I'm glad that Harry and Meghan got away because the same thing would have happened to them. So, how she died? Us. Well, with the paparazzi <laughs> chasing her down. Yeah, and drunk driver as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Slightly fishy about that. Oh, well, but... quite. Shout out <coughs> Prince Philip. Rest in peace. The thing about Diana, though, is she was so good for people with HIV and AIDS. Mm, mm, sure. Um, she, like, did so much for, for mm. stigma. Stigma she busted. did. And people with leprosy. And land, I remember land the landmine thing. I never thing. walking through that. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she were, And it never seemed to put on with her. No. She was, not that I'm a Princess Diana stan in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but she did just seem like a normal person, especially compared to the rest of those fucking mm. weirdos, which wouldn't be difficult. Um, anyway... So God, you never thought you'd get Princess Diana coverage on BB on Blocks, <laughs> did you? Happy 60th, Diana. <laughs> <Are> they... <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I don't know if you can she celebrate your 60. 60th when you're de- already no, died at 40 or whatever it was. No, I don't think so. Um, so at this point, Jack raised an interesting question, which did I he? thought you'd enjoy. Yeah. He said, does anyone actually know what Big Brother looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't. I've never seen him, but I think I think Tully said she's seen him. Oh, she's seen him. Not in real life, but she's seen a picture of him. Yeah, a picture of him. Mm. Which one? The Australian one? No, the one. new Big Brother. Oh, the new one. The current Big Brother. Right. I don't know if he meant, like, all Big Brothers, or is there just one Big Brother, or Doesn't just that one voice guy who does the voice? Maybe, I'm not sure. Well, we have seen Big Brother. It's mm. that thing with a hood from BB Candle. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that old, like, death. That's true. It looks oh, God. like death. Oh, yeah, I'll, put, I'll draw Jack's attention to that. So SJ's speech, as you said, she said she was there to represent people who are invisible. I like, um, I like that angle. Sorry, can we just talk about Christina a minute? I think she constructed that like, oh, this is my childhood dream. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even like, write that down. Like she never mentioned that in the house, but at mm. the same time, she could have mentioned it and it been exactly. edited out. And what another thing I want to say is, mm. yes, please say it. Um, Sid. <laughs> yes. Marley said on his podcast that mm. Sid has been accused of playing the race card. And he was Ugh. like, well, I would never have even thought of that. Mm. And, like, he said it's disgusting that people say that. And actually, mm. Sid was Correct. talking about wanting to represent and mm. show Indian immigrants. Yeah. Or younger, In a positive younger light. Indian, Indian immigrants. They could also mm. be a Big Brother fucking yeah. list. Yeah. They could also appear on Trashy <laughs> Reality TV. Yeah. Um, and it was something he talked about throughout the show, but it's only because Big Brother chose to, yeah. to edit it in at that point that yeah. it, it looked appeared or could be construed as playing a card when actually it had always been his reason for being there. But how is that even playing a card? Like, wanting representation of your nationality on... Your, t- well, not quite. nationality. Your ethnicity on yeah. TV. That's uh, such a load of bollocks. Fuck those people. Um, SJ. Did, did you want to say anything else about... Don't fuck SJ, sure. No! I mean, are you talking about SJ? Carry on. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, mm. Jack mm. noticed something here. This is very, very interesting, conspiracy wise. Who's observant today? When they were, I know when they were doing the speeches. Yeah, SJ speeches. was talking, and it was sort of a side camera on her face. When Christina was talking, it was also sort of a side camera on her face. Marley gave his speech directly the into the fucking camera, eye to eye with that fucking camera. Oh, tell me I that didn't ain't. That. Tell me that ain't fishy. Wow. Don't you think? That, Either Marley's clever and he saw the red light and looked at the camera and they didn't notice, yeah. or Ted has got a very big plan with well, I think Marley's got a knack for TV. Mm. As he said, his mum said he was going to be a star. Was Marley in the middle at that point? Marley, that's his new TV show, <laughs> Marley in the Middle. Um, no, he was not in the middle. SJ mm. was in the middle. Ah, so there's no, no reason why he would be staring directly down that camera then. But he did. Oh, well, they all stood up when they did yeah, that. Yeah, he connected with the camera. Was it like the plea to like, why you should vote for me? Yeah. Didn't SJ say, vote for Marley? Uh, SJ no. said I was there to represent people who are invisible. I thought that was in the diary room chair she said that. And here Jack said, I'm surprised they're not letting Marley go last, but then they couldn't lay it on that thick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carlos, Carlos, fucking hell. <laughs> He was sitting on the fence about who should win. Well, no one cares what you think anyway. <laughs> well, you know, I'm kind of want a coffee to win. 
<laughs> Imagine if you went on Big Brother and you literally reduced down to a oh, fucking coffee, coffee with all or, the trimmings. Or the carpal <laughs> tunnel or whatever. That's it. Yeah. Just such a one thing. And yeah. be like, no, I've got other facets to me. Like, no, you're just that. Wait, have we spoken enough about Sonia only focusing on Christina's romance with Brent? Brenton. Well, feel free to speak more about it. If you do the I, notes, you can decide I, what to fucking well, speak about. I'm doing the notes now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Be> writing them. <laughs> I will never forget when Christina grated Mel in that push challenge and that metal oh, thing. Oh, that was good. Grated yeah. her right up like an old little carrot. <laughs> <laughs> like Christina had balls. Yeah. And she played tough yeah. in some of those competitions. She did, yeah. She, uh, like that one underwater where they had to stand the water. Yes. Was, that was good. Yeah. Wouldn't Ari in her team as well, though? And she goes, oh, I won. And oh, she yeah. comes out and goes, I won. And then Ari has to do back and forth. Mm-hmm. But like, I do think she played quite well. She said in the, she played really well. She said in the podcast with Tully that her plan was to like not excel in competitions until the end. And she, it turns out the competition was really hard and I couldn't anyway. Mm. But she, she goes, oh, I got there by not floating. And I thought, I don't know if you... If you didn't float, because there was a period where you went, we need to keep these people in because they will take other, they can win mm. competitions, they will take other people out. I feel like she did. I'd say she did fly ha- under the radar. She somewhat. did have an alliance, just her alliance wasn't that loyal to her. I'd say. Yeah. What? Danny's well, side. Yeah, I wouldn't call her a floater because she did make moves, and she, I mean, like she said, her and Ari got Danny out. That's a bit power move. Do you know what? The fact that we can even sit here and talk about her strategy speaks mm. volumes because last year there weren't no any one strategy. Any. Yeah, exactly. There's no strategy to be heard, no, to be found. No. It was Matt from Broken Hill. That was the strategy. And Chad going, oh, I want to go and have a beer and swear, accidentally swearing. <laughs> um, so this, oh, I hear you had beef about this on Twitter. The family members coming on stage. Don't get the family members on the stage <laughs> for fuck's sake. It's clutter. What's the problem? It's like, it's like the unwanted commas in... in yeah. The social media post. It's clutter, <laughs> clutter on the stage that yeah. I don't want to see. Yeah. I don't want I don't want Mar- Marley's brother to come up. I don't want Christina's mum standing there gawking down the camera. I want to see my finalists and I want them to have their moment yeah. by themselves and I want them to feel the tension by themselves. Yeah, and then and the family f- can run in afterwards. Yeah, and it's yeah. more fun. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, it the is pylon. weird. Why do they do that? Because they... They obsessed with on Australia with friends family. and family comments, yeah, and they've F&F. always been. Yeah, and I know that we've had F and F on our evictions in the yeah. past, and they always want to do a little bit with the F and F. But in Australia, they've always gone like down. They've been in the front row down mm. at like the Gold um, Dream Dream World on the Gold Coast. Mm. They go up to them, and they talk to them. It's like mm. the fam- friends and family don't need that much airtime. No, it's awkward for the most part. It is quite awkward actually, but I've got some comments on them nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> SJ's daughters, very cute, I thought. Oh, well dressed. Yeah. yeah. And they said, uh, I've never actually watched Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, fucking rude. Shade. Uh, Marley's dad. She goes, oh, it's quite nice to um, binge on Big Brother and yeah, like veg out. Yeah, I've never actually, you know, bothered to watch it before. No, I don't really before. bother like with TV yeah. shows like this. Yeah. Like, have, quite below know, me, to be honest with you. I haven't actually got a TV, you know, I had to borrow one off someone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, Marley's dad had a snazzy jacket on. Possibly from the Kevin Martin collection, I'm not sure. Well, Marley's dad is a tailor, that's why oh. he's made... I tell you what is genius, so mm. about Marley's outfit being mm. made by his dad, which he mm. plugged. Mm. Marley's mum and dad mm. base their livelihood on tailoring. Ah. So the the business model is actually mm-hmm. for, like, um, plus-size dresses. Ah. So his mum would, like, sort of, like, bring in the clientele, and his mm-hmm. dad would make them. Oh. So then, since losing mm. his mum, they've mm. had to, like, find a way to survive and keep the business mm. afloat. So, actually, Marley wanted this... His his look was inspired by an NBA player, I think, he mm-hmm. said. And he was desperate to find it, and it was really expensive, and he couldn't find it. So mm. his dad went, I'll make it. That's cool. But, to be honest with you, if mm. that's his business, mm. and tailoring is a thing, to plug it on national TV yeah, is a great business Yeah, that's business a good move. advert. Yeah, that's yeah. a good advert for it. Um... What about Marley's brother? Any He's even taller him? than Marley. <laughs> Especially with that hair. I know. He's like adding some extra height with that. <laughs> yeah, he, his, I, his brother just looked Not huge. like him. It didn't look like him No, either. but he looked huge. Mm. Absolutely huge. He seemed quite laid back as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the hair, but, you know, it's a, it's a choice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a choice. Um, and... That probably looks better down, I would say. 
Uh, just like Ari. Mm. Marley's brother, when he talked, he sounded exactly like Marley. Well, they always do. It's you know, like whenever they're the friends and family, yeah. they always sound the same. <laughs> Apart like... from SJ's daughters, who sound Australian. <laughs> it's Christina's mum and sister. Not much to offer there, was there? 